I'm going to show you the fastest way to get a toll-free number for yourself using Facebook. You can also use this website, metollfree.com, and connect using your Facebook ID. However, I prefer to use Facebook because it puts the app right here on my wall and I can get to my toll-free number anytime I want to. The way we do this is we go to apps.facebook.com slash me toll free that brings us to the me toll free Facebook app the first time you access it you may need to click the allow thing also sometimes it gets really flaky with Internet Explorer and we don't really know why so if you're using Internet Explorer just go to me toll free dot com instead now there's a lot of things we can do on this site, but we can't do any of them until we pick a toll-free number for ourselves. So there's two things we have to do here. One is we have to pick from this list of toll-free numbers. I like this one. And then we have to put in the number that we want to forward it to. So I'm going to put my office number here first. And I hit submit. Now you can see I have checked off record the call. That's checked off by default so that I can listen to my employees talking on the phone. Then I hit submit, and I wait a second, and I have my toll-free number now. That's all you need to do. That's it. Nothing else. Your toll-free number is right here. And if you look down here, you've got 250 free credit points to try it out and make sure it works. And if you want to keep using it, just click here on the purchase button. It works out to about six cents a minute. There's no monthly fees, and if your number doesn't get used, you don't pay anything. When this starts to get down to zero, you get notified and you need to charge it up again. The minimum purchase is $6.95. And depending on what you're using the number for, that might last you quite a long time. You don't need to watch any more of this video, but if you want to see some more things you can do with your toll-free number, I will show you. Number one is you can listen to voicemail. Now, right now, I have this number forwarded to my telephone, but let's say after hours I want it to go to voicemail. You can see over here I'm in daytime mode, or active day. Let's say I want to create a nighttime mode, what we also call a busy mode. Now, the site is in beta, so we haven't decided whether we want to use the word nighttime or busy or maybe after hours, so we're confused ourselves. Over here we have our active settings, and right now our active settings is to forward it to my office. I'm going to set some busy settings here. With the busy settings, I can play a busy signal. I can play a voicemail greeting and take a message. Or I can forward the number to my home phone, let's say. Let's say I want to play a busy message. I want to play a voicemail. I want to go to voicemail. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change my greeting. Because the current greeting for voicemail is a busy signal. Now here under the greetings area, which you can get to down here, voice prompts is another way to get to it my default greeting which is not being used because the phone is just being forwarded to uh, my uh, my office my outgoing message and that's if, when I want to make broadcast calls we'll talk about that in a little bit and the busy message right now it's just a busy signal I could play it here but you can't hear it because of the way my microphone is set up but you can listen to it the originals are always here to be restored. In case you change it and you want to put the busy signal back, just click Restore Original. What we're trying to do here, set up voicemail at night, so I won't make it too complicated. Well, I don't have an MP3 to upload, at least not one prepared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate some speech, and I'm going to say, leave a message. I'll call you tomorrow. This actually sounds really good too. You could pick some, from some voices here. It sounds just like a person. Uh, you can't hear it because of the way I'm recording the screen. Uh, but listen to it. It sounds amazing. Um, so now, leave a message. I'll call you tomorrow. I could have changed the name of it if I wanted to. Now I'm going to go back to my voice prompts here. And you can see here's my voice prompt I just created. I'm going to set it as my busy message. Okay, now we're still in active mode, so there's no way that anybody's going to hear that yet. Oh no, what happened?
See, I told you this thing flakes, flakes out sometimes. Whenever Facebook gets weird, the Facebook app gets weird. That's why I keep a link to the website directly, metollfree.com. Uh, I am going to set up a schedule now for when I'm busy. I can manually set it busy, so now all the calls are going to go to voicemail all the time now. I'll click on Activate again. Now we're back to forwarding it to my phone, which is the way I originally set it up. But I'm going to configure a busy mode. already did that. Let me just double check. I'm going to play a voicemail greeting and take a message. Um, here's my greeting here. I can listen to it. Make sure that it's what I want. If I can hold the microphone. I'll call you tomorrow. I don't know if, if you could hear the you could hear it. Anyway. Let's not try anything crazy. I'm going to do this all in one take. Okay, so I'm going to apply changes. Basically, I've got my voicemail set up. Now I'm going to go up here to where it says daytime. And that's where I'm going to now read this. I'm not going to go through this, but this just gives you a really clear ex explanation of what you're doing here. I'm going to make an event called After Hours. It's going to happen at 5 p.m. It's already set. It's going to go busy. Don't worry about this last setting here. I'm going to submit. Now at 5 o'clock on weekdays, it's going to automatically go to voicemail. Now I'm going to create a new scheduled item right here. This one is going to be morning at 8 a.m. every day we're going to go active. Now let's say you want it every day or you want it just weekdays or whatever you can open this up here and choose every day or weekdays, weekdays plus Saturday or certain days or whatever. If you want to do it like just on Sunday, Monday and Saturday you can create three separate events, one for Monday, one for Sunday. You can create as many of these events as you want to. Uh, but the events are you know, go, go active, go busy, go daytime, go nighttime. I'm going to submit this one and I'm going to create one more event this will be kind of interesting. This isn't going to be a daytime or nighttime thing. This is going to be a wake-up call. The wake-up call is going to happen at 7 a.m. Here I'm going to click Call Out. And I'm going to call everybody in my contact list. I don't have anybody in my contact list right now, otherwise there'd be a list here. And Submit. So now every morning, every weekday morning at 7 a.m. I will be called. I can schedule events in my calendar. I can create contacts who in have individual calling events associated with them. Uh, it's also good to have your contacts in here and you can import them from Facebook so that when you look at your voicemail you can see who left you a message. And this is beta right now, which means there might be some things that don't work. There's going to be a lot of things we can improve, but if you want a toll-free number, this is the fastest way to get it. Thank you for your time.